Maxwell One Touch Three uh, with Firewire 800, uh, 500 gig um, external hard drive uh, for my MacBook Pro, so I can use Time Machine on Leopard. Uh, just gonna open it up now. The reason why I got the uh, uh, the reason why I got the Max Tour is pretty much. Um, The Max Tour is pretty much uh, over the uh, my book is because um, from what I heard uh, this one compared to the uh, my book and the um, 800 well the same model as this one except it's my book is that it actually uh, actually is a little bit slower on the 800. Um, on the Firewire 800 megabits per second, which um, I didn't want, so pretty much uh, I went for this one because it was um, it's recommended by me that was actually faster for a Mac uh, on the 800 um, megabits per second, which averages to about 64 megabytes uh, a second transfer rate. Because 800 uh, megabits per second is around that. So that's the hard drive. We got two. Uh, you can see there's two. Firewire 800 ports for some reason and one Firewire 400 and a USB 2 section this is 500 gigs three accessories so we got the software it comes for on um, Windows which I won't be needing because I plan on using um, Time Machine um, alright got our power cord we got our Firewire 800 cable as you can see That's all it seems. Oh yeah, and the um, the power adapter as well. Let's see, and it doesn't come with an actual USB two uh, cable, so they only give you the Firewire eight hundred cable. Interesting. Okay, um, that's it. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's basically my MacBook Pro there. I've got it hooked up to my to a 22-inch display. Uh, there's my new Max Max Tor um, 500 gig uh, Firewire 800 um, external hard drive. All right. So. Hold on a sec. Q. Cool. All right, so we're going to set up Time Machine. So first things first. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done this, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, all right, so first thing to do is go to System Preferences. Where in system preferences? Okay, click on time machine.
Oh, there it is. Alright, so... <laughs> um, Alright, so switch it to on. <laughs> Yay! Just the sidebar. Which is good. Alright, um... So I have to put in my hard drive. So I have to turn it on, I haven't turned it on. Uh, just on a sec. Right, so I've backed, I've plugged it in and now it's come up and told me to if you want to, do you want to use the untitled for backup and I say I do. Okay. So that's selected. Now I'm assuming it's going to now format it for me. Okay, so the next thing to do is click change disk. No, I've yeah. Yeah, so use backup, done that, so next thing to do. I think that's it. <laughs> It doesn't give me any other options, so... Fair enough. Alright, that seems to be all there is to it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's about it. There we go, time machine is now preparing. Back up. Alright, so it's now going to back up about 59 gigs, which is about how much I've used on my hard drive. So, yep, that's about it. So, that's how you set up Time Machine. It's way easier than I thought. Alright, cool. Well, see you later.